Mine Lab Equinox 800 multi frequency option. You can see the sine wave here of the oscilloscope. Here's picking out the most prominent frequency being displayed on the sine wave. And here's a graphical representation of the different frequencies being transmitted. Now going to the five single frequency options with the Equinox 800, we have five kilohertz here, which the frequency meter is picking out five. This is a sine wave, and here on the graph you see five kilohertz is the most prominent frequency. Now going to ten kilohertz, the frequency meter here again, it's indicating 10 here's with the sine wave and here on this graph the most prominent frequency is 10 15 kilohertz here again the frequency meter 15 and on the graph 15 here's your sine wave twenty kilohertz Frequency meter is showing 20. Here's a sine wave. And here again on the graph, 20 is the most prominent frequency. Now switching to 40 kilohertz. You'll notice here the sine wave is, is different shaped. And here on the graph we're showing 40. And now you might notice here on the frequency meter it is not showing 40. And this is because of the noise cancel setting. On the Equinox 800 you have several settings that range from a negative 9 to a positive 9. And each one changes the transmit frequency of not only the multi-frequency option, but each individual option from 5 to 40. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the noise cancel and see how far you have to change it to actually change this 38. That's noise cancel 8. Noise cancel six, five, four, noise cancel one. Here we're getting closer. Still the graph is showing 40 is the most prominent. So we're going to go all down on the noise cancel. Noise cancel minus one gets you to your 40, which which represents the fact that we do have five options, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 40. And then you also have the multi-frequency option, which transmits what we saw on the screen. Going back to multi-frequency again, you can see the different frequencies and the strength of each frequency in these graphs.